What's up guys? In my left hand, I have a 24 millimeter cinema style Rokinon lens that will set you back about $800 and this is the full frame version. On my right hand, I have a 24 millimeter Zine lens. This one will set you back $2,500. There's three times the price difference between this lens and this lens. The question is, if I were to show you some video samples, would you be able to tell the difference between the two? So without further ado, let's get started. Before I show you some video samples, let me give you a quick overview of each lens. Both of these are Cinema Prime lenses, which means there's no autofocus motor inside and you have a dedicated ring to control the aperture. The Rokinon has a circular eight blade diaphragm, while the Zine lens has an 11 blade iris, which should give you smoother bokeh. The Rokinon is made of plastic and feels somewhat cheap. On the other hand, the Zine lens is constructed of metal, looks and feels very solid. Both of these are essentially made by the same manufacturer in Korea, but are part of different divisions like Toyota is to Lexus, or like Honda to Acura. And even though the Zine is priced at $2,500, that is actually very inexpensive for a cinema lens, considering most Canon and Zeiss CP primes are $5,000 and even more. So looking at the price of the Rokinon, well, it's a steal. But is it really worth spending three times more for the Zine lens over the Rokinon? Well, you be the judge of that. I'm gonna show you some video samples and I'm not gonna tell you which one is which until after. Let's go ahead and begin. So which lens was A and which lens was B? If you thought lens A was Zine, then you are correct. Now here's a better look side by side and when we zoom into 200%, you can really start to notice a difference. Pay really close attention to the outer edge of the hair and how it starts to get really soft on the Rokinon. There's a bit more color fringing and the edges start to fall apart. Now the cat was a little harder to judge and they both look great at T2.8. Though when we zoom in, the Zine lens is slightly sharper than the Rokinon one. Though not by much and you definitely need to pixel peep in order to tell the difference. Now this one was a lot harder to tell and trust me when I say this, you really need to pixel peep in order to tell the difference between the two. But otherwise they both look great. Now the Lemon one was very difficult to judge because at T5.6 they are both really sharp and it's just a matter of which one do you prefer in terms of color. And the same thing happens when we go to T16. It's almost impossible to tell the difference between the two and it's gonna go down to which one do you prefer in color. And this is pretty much the pattern I saw throughout when looking at all of the images. And finally the focus pull, and this is just to show you the difference between the two and also the type of bokeh that you can get which pretty much look the same to me. So it's conclusion time. Is the Zine lens worth buying over the Rokinon lens? Well, that really depends on the type of work that you're doing. To me, the Zine lens was more consistent throughout. Even when I stopped it down to T1.5, it was still very sharp as opposed to the Rokinon lens that started to kind of fall apart. But again, that really depends on the type of work that you're doing and also you're not gonna be able to really tell with YouTube's compression unless you're looking at the actual source files, then you can really tell. 
The other thing, and I feel this is more subjective, but I felt the zine lens had better color reproduction and was more accurate to what I saw in person. And I know you can fix color in post-production, but I just felt the zine lens had a more natural look compared to the Rokinon lens. And finally, we have build quality and accuracy. The Zine lens is made of more professional grade materials. It has a much longer focus throw, which is gonna allow you to nail your focus a lot more accurate. It's gonna be a lot smoother. Overall, in general, this is going to be, well, better lens. But on the flip side, this is three times cheaper than this lens made of plastic. And if I were to drop this right now, I can go out and buy one at full retail price and it wouldn't matter because I would still have enough money to do that again and it will still be cheaper than owning this lens. So what do you guys think? Zine, Rokinon, which one would you buy? Let me know also if you guys like these types of videos. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.